Good morning, boys and girls. I hope your day has started off well. Uh, mine sure has. It's beautiful outside and the sun's shining, so hopefully you get your e-learning work done today. Get it done, uh, work hard, and get it done early so you can get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. At this time, if you would, please stand for the pledge. Thank you, London and Lola, for saying the pledge for us this morning. Appreciate you doing that. Appreciate your parents sending it in. I've got two birthdays today I'd like to celebrate. Happy birthday to Kara Barkley and Christopher Childs. We hope you have a fantastic birthday. This week in our Positivity Project, we've been talking about purpose. I talked to you a little bit yesterday about feeling like you have a purpose and knowing that you uh, that there is meaning to life and that you were put here for a purpose and uh, figuring out what that is. And I told you, shared a little bit about my story, about I believe that my purpose here is to impact lives of children. And, um, and then that's why I went into education. And I know that many of you uh, are going to do great things in your life as you get older and you grow up and become an adult. You're going to do some positive things to impact uh, your communities. And I'm looking forward to seeing that. But I also know that right now, uh, regardless of how old you are, whether you're our youngest students at four years old or maybe some of our older ones getting ready to go to middle school who are 11 and 12, uh, you have purpose too and live each day with purpose. I want to encourage you by sharing something um, that I was thinking about this morning with just things that we have around our house or things that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything that was created that we buy at a store had a purpose. Whoever designed it, came up with it, created it, had a reason for it, and uh, it was designed for a purpose, such as food. Food keeps us alive, gives us energy to go about our days and do the things that we need to do. Phones, uh, today, especially the phones we have used to, they were invented for just communication, being able to call someone, hear their voice, and talk to them. Now we can FaceTime, we can see them, we can Zoom, we can WebEx, all those things on our phones. We can look up information on our phones. We can uh, take pictures and share those with others. But that phone has a purpose. It was designed and created for a reason. And uh, I believe that for each one of you today, that you have a reason for being here on earth. And, uh, and that is each day to do some great things uh, for your community, for your family. And uh, so keep that in mind as you go throughout your day. Be nice to others. Treat others with respect, all of those things. But another thing with purpose, it can be used in a different way. Sorry about it being shaky there. Another thing about purpose is that we need to know the purpose behind what we do. So um, think about your actions. Think about how you treat uh, others. Think about how you treat your siblings, how you treat your mom and dad. And think about what is the purpose behind my actions? Why should I be nice? Why should I share and be generous with the things that I have? Uh, at my house, you know, that there should be a purpose behind that. So I want you to think about that is why do you do good? What is the purpose in doing good? And um, so think about that today. Um, parents, I want to say thank you so much for turning in student work. I noticed that the cooler had some more work out front. I collected that yesterday and uh, there might be some more coming in today. So if, if you are able to send pictures or submit electronically, please do that. It's uh, a lot a lot less cumbersome and easy for the teachers to get. It's quicker for them. Uh, but if you can't, you please turn that in. We appreciate you doing that. Students, this is for you and for parents. Next week is Teacher Appreciation Week. I love that week. I'm uh, kind of looking for creative ways to honor our teachers next week because we're not able to be here in the building and maybe shower them with some gifts and do things that we normally would do. So we're trying to be creative. And in that, what I want to uh, ask you or encourage you to do next week is to be creative yourself and showing different ways that you can show your teachers how much you appreciate them and all that they do for, for you. So keep that in mind. Uh, Teacher Appreciation Week is next week. Now, today we have food service going on, curbside pickup between 10 and 1. If you come and need instructional packets, just let us know. We'll get those to you as well. Remember that food service and bus delivery does not run on Wednesday or Friday. So it is today. It'll be again on Thursday, uh, but no deliveries on Wednesday or Friday. All right, that's all of my announcements for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow.